I'm ready, action. This year I will be attending ELMS, so first time in uh, LMP2 car category. As always, new category, new challenges, new things to discover. There is quite big difference between uh, approach, racing approach, uh, between uh, single-seaters or sprint races, where you drive uh, alone, uh, and uh, endurance approach when you are sharing uh, the, not only the cockpit, but also meetings, uh, the way you work with the team, uh, the way you actually you have to be much more open-minded. At a certain point you are jumping out or into the car and someone else is taking your, your, your place. And, uh, and I think this is creating more team spirit uh, and definitely you are living more as a group. Uh, you are spending more time with, uh, with your teammates. You know, when you are racing, for example, in Formula 1, uh, in the end your teammates, yes, is representing the same team, but it's also your opponent. And here you are uh, having uh, your teammates and they are working all together uh, for the same results, for the same, let's say, goal. And, uh, and this is the biggest difference. The final goal would be to be on the podium uh, at, at some events. And I think uh, we, we are a young team. Uh, we have uh, a strong lineup of uh, drivers, but uh, also uh, we lack a bit of experience. For sure, uh, stepping up uh, into endurance racing in LMP2 category gives me a good opportunity of uh, Initial approach, uh, of course, uh, LMP1 hypercar category is the top of uh, endurance racing, and uh, uh, who knows, uh, maybe one day I will have opportunity to drive there. Uh, but I have learned one thing in my life: to don't look too much fo forward because of my accident. And uh, on purpose, I mentioned my life uh, because many times, and most of the people, uh, I, let's say, co connect my accident to motorsport. Uh, but the person who had accident is me, myself, and I'm having daily life and, and uh, motorsport, yes, it was and it is uh, my biggest passion, but in the end I have also my daily life and, uh, and uh, I think it has been uh, a difficult period because in the end the biggest goal and the biggest, uh, let's say, uh, I would say success uh, is that uh, I'm back racing and uh, that my body uh, learn uh, how to deal with my limitations and my limitations are only uh, limiting uh, someone who see me uh, uh, but my body my brain accepted completely and i don't feel think anymore uh, like yes i have some limitations and this has been a long process uh, a lot of work uh, not work physical not rehabilitation but a lot of work mental, uh, which I went through and, uh, and I think I have been always very realistic about myself. You know, time has passed, uh, a lot of things has changed. Uh, my limitations, I will bring them forever or until my last day of my life. Uh, but I accept them and, and I think this is a, a biggest uh, achievement because uh, I remember there were days, months, periods where my, my brain were, was not really accepting how I am uh, because I found myself in... Uh, I found myself to learn everything nearly from, from zero and, and also my, my brain, my body had to learn how to live with uh, this situation and how to adapt because uh, uh, our brain is very powerful muscle tool that uh, most of the times we set our limits in my, our brain, but those limits are set up by ourselves. Uh, our limits are much more beyond what we think and, and the brain plays an important part of, of this uh, recovery. Le Mans, it has been always uh, the race, you know, uh, but as I'm kind of the driver which have been always racing in sprint races uh, since I was very young, uh, uh, endurance races and Le Mans uh, has been never really in my mind until a uh, couple of years ago uh, where I uh, started uh, thinking about uh, you know this amazing race uh, I think one of the biggest motorsport challenge not only as a driver but as a team uh, I think uh, already finishing Le Mans is, is a unique uh, is a great achievement of course performing well and fighting on the top will be even better but uh, uh, I think you have to leave Le Mans to really appreciate uh, it's unique atmosphere, it's unique uh, uh, event and, uh, and the characteristic. So uh, it, it's looking amazing from outside, but I think uh, inside living it, 
uh, being a part of uh, active part of uh, of this weekend will be something special. I have been in motorsport for very long, uh, but uh, those new new things are always very emotional. You know, they make you feel like you you are a, again a baby, a kid. Uh, which of course it has been a long time ago I was a kid, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but uh, but uh, you know, these moments uh, makes you feeling that uh, you are discovering a completely new world. You know, motorsport is, uh, it looks often very similar from outside, but living uh, different races, different categories is always uh, something new, something uh, uh, fascinating to learn and to discover. <laughs>